Dan, the raids on the Central Coast were part of a five-day operation across Central California, which led to 54 arrests in all, 53 of them from Mexico. This week, ICE agents arrest 25 immigrants living on the Central Coast during a five-day operation. Since Monday, 19 people have been arrested in Monterey County, including King City, Greenfield, Salinas, and Soledad. Another six are arrested in Santa Cruz and Watsonville. And those arrested are being held on a variety of charges, most for DUI and drug offenses. But convictions also include domestic violence, illegal entry or reentry, property damage, and traffic offenses. We're not looking at people who committed even a kidnapping, a rape, a homicide. I'm a little stunned at the resources being dedicated to crimes of that nature. Since President Trump signed the executive orders regarding immigration enforcement, ICE has arrested more than 41,000 people nationwide. That's a nearly 40 percent increase since this time last year. President Trump said Thursday he swears by his decision and believes he's taking violent criminals off the street. We are protecting our families, schools and cities by removing the gang members, <laughs> MS-13, the drug dealers and criminals from our country, and cracking down on the sanctuary cities that protect them. Sanctuary cities like Santa Cruz. And Zarazua says she's concerned that major ICE raids for minimal offenses will only continue the distrust within the community. The mere fact that you are here in undocumented status makes you vulnerable. I think a lot of people will shut themselves down even more in terms of cooperating with um, local law enforcement. Sergeant Chris Clark with the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office says he doesn't want ICE's presence to stop the community from feeling safe. He says even though local law enforcement was notified about the ICE raids, they did not take part in them whatsoever. You know, we don't enforce immigration laws uh, at the sheriff's office. We, uh, we, we want to know when crimes happen and we want to investigate crime and we want people to feel comfortable to bring us that information. Now I reached out to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement for comment, but have not heard back. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Lauren. Appreciate it.